Hi! So if you've seen some of my episodes already, you would have seen the 5 minute makeup and also how to make your lashes super full. So now that we have that on, I'm going to show you how to take it all off properly and using all the right skincare products with the right steps, order of steps. So for all the guys out there as well, you can do all the steps. You just don't need to remove the makeup step, that's all. Um, it's very beneficial for everyone to clean your face at night. Don't go to sleep with your makeup on. Uh, make sure your pores are clean. And then while you're sleeping, your skincare products actually work better. So then that way by the time you wake up, you'll have such a beautiful glowing skin and ready for another day. So um, I'm gonna have a bowl of water here. You would do this at home by your sink. Uh, you wanna make sure you clip up your hair. Um, so that your hair doesn't get out of bent out of shape with the water that's going to be used. Okay, so um, first of all, you actually want to remove your eye makeup. I forgot to put that one out, so with all my labels. So this one's the eye makeup remover. The importance of doing eye makeup first would be because your eye makeup usually has dark colors and dark pigments on, so that you don't want to get that mushed into the rest of your pores. Pour a little bit on a cotton square. I like these squares. If these squares are too big for you, you can always buy the rounded one or you can always cut these in half, which I do too sometimes. So when you're removing your eye makeup, so holding it here a few seconds will actually help the eye makeup remover soak into the makeup more so that when you do move it, it comes off much more easily and much more quickly for you so you don't have to rub your eyes too much because that is actually what you want to avoid. Rubbing your eyes too much will give you wrinkles, which we all don't want. Okay, so that's pretty good, as you can see. And um, of course, do it underneath as well. And we'll do the other side. So at home too, you can actually do both sides together. I didn't do that today just so I could see you as well. Um, but you can do both sides together. Save yourself some time. So this whole cleansing routine should really, at home when you have it down pat, take about two minutes. It's really quick. So um, just spend that two minutes to get beautiful skin and make sure all your makeup's removed. And if your gentleman at home uh, is kind of lazy and doesn't want to do it, you can do it for them. You guys can do it together, right? It's like a nighttime activity together. So fun when you wake up. Okay, so the eye makeup's removed. If you're not wearing makeup, you actually don't need the step for the um, eye cleansing step. Sorry, not eye cleansing stuff, the makeup removal step. Um, so this is a makeup removal oil, uh, cleansing oil. Um, some people you can actually just do your cleanser twice if you're not wearing a ton of makeup. But I like the oil because I find that, especially in the winter, it's a little bit more gentle on the skin. So this is a special oil that's actually really good for even oily skins. So those of you with oily skins, don't be afraid of this oil. It will not clog your pores. Um, so you put it on dry. So one pump on dry skin, and as you can see, all the oil is everywhere. This one you can actually even go up closer to your eyes. Um, some people do remove their mascara with it as well, but I still like a separate one. Just because I find the oil sometimes drags the mascara into my eyes and I get irritated. And I hate things in my eyes. That's one of my pet peeves. So now that you've massaged it on, um, you just add a little bit of water. And this turns into a milky emulsion. So actually the water, I mean the oil dissolves and it turns into a milk. And it still doesn't clog your pores because I actually have super oily skin. And also with the oil, it's so gentle on those with really dry skin. So this one is good for all skin types, for sure, promise. Um, just massage, the massaging motion releases the dirt and the grime from the makeup. And when you massage, you always want to go in upward and outward motions, okay? Never go like this, because then if you do that, you're gonna like drag your skin down um, and help gravity cause sagginess, which we don't want. And this is another one of my favorite products, is the cleansing sponge for the face. So this is just a cellulose sponge. Um, I find with the cellulose sponge, it actually helps remove whatever product you're removing off your face 10 times better. It is that good, this little sponge. And just rinse with it. And remove everything. 
If you um, want to do your neck as well, by all means, do all the steps on your neck as well. It keeps your neck young and full and prevents sagging, keeps the skin younger too. For those of you over 30 or even 28, I would definitely do all the steps on the neck as well. Just so you know, everything ages at the same rate. You don't want to wake up one day and your neck is much more mature looking than the rest of your face, right? That doesn't work out well either, sometimes. Um, so now that that's off, we're gonna do the face cleanser. Take a little pump. A lot of face cleansers, you don't even need a full pump, just a little bit, especially if you've done this step before already. Mix it with a little bit of water, or if you use a milky one at home, if you don't need to mix it with water, you don't need to mix it with water. Massage everywhere, so kind of the same motions as earlier. Get it right into your hairline, so that way you don't get pimples up there. And this one will remove the dirt and grime off the face, as long with all the oils and sweat that you've, you know, accumulated over the day. Again, rinse very well. Uh, I won't be able to show you how to rinse extremely well right now, because I just have this bowl of water. But with your water at home, just splash it a few times as well, okay? Um... Yeah, you don't want to have any cleanser residue on the skin because that could actually clog your pores. And anytime you're using a cleanser, you want to make sure you tone right after. So that would be our next step. A lot of people feel toning is not important or it's an unnecessary step, but it actually is super important because with all this cleansing right now, as you see, uh, the cleanser works by opening up your pores. So, once we've opened up the pores to release the dirt, you need to tighten them back. And of course, using pH balanced stuff products work the best. Super gentle on your skin, doesn't cause any, you know, crazy erratic changes. Okay, so now that I'm done the cleansing, as you see, it's a lot slower doing it on camera than at home. It would be actually a lot quicker. Seriously, this really is a two minute um, procedure. Okay, so now that that's done, we can move on to um, the toning. You can pat dry if you want. You don't have to. I just like to pat dry here so then my hair doesn't curl up, especially if it's done. Otherwise, it'll just change form so quickly. Um, next up, toning. The toner I use, I really love. It is an organic toner that is so gentle, I could put it around my eyes. So if you have a really gentle toner that you could put around your eyes, you can. Just dab it around the eyes first, because it will help your eye cream absorb better. So toner not only tightens your pores and prepares your skin, it also over flushes your skin with really good moisture, so that way your next step can absorb much better. So again, you want to do upward and outward motions. Also doing upward and outward motions will actually help with lifting stuff out of your pores. So if there's any extra residue right now, um, I will have it removed. Everything will be removed by your toner. So yeah, just had a little bit of eye makeup left there. We can kind of remove that. And if you've noticed, when I do remove eye makeup, I always go from out to in. Okay, always go out to in. If you go this way, sometimes you actually stretch more wrinkles onto yourself, which we don't want. So that part's done, toning's done. Next is the serum. So the order of these steps is very important as well, so that way each product absorbs properly at the right step. Serum comes in different forms. This one is a vitamin C serum that I love in a UV violet protected bottle so it doesn't oxidize. Um, you just usually put a couple of drops on. Serum is like your multivitamin at home. So if you take a multivitamin, you know what it does for your body, the serum would do the same. It's the highest concentration of active ingredients. And that's why it's usually in a liquidy or jelly formula so that it can absorb super effectively as this is super potent for antioxidant protection, for firming. This vitamin C1, vitamin C is good for collagen synthesis and brightening effects as well. So, now that that's on, let it absorb a little bit um, and then do your eye cream. 
So eye cream, mine is in a pump, this one, but if you have one in a jar, make sure you scoop it out with a spatula. Um, with creams in a jar, scooping out with a spatula would be better than dipping your fingers in, so that way it stays fresher longer. So I just have a little bit of eye cream. Eye cream you want to apply with your ring finger. Your ring finger is actually your weakest finger, so that way if you did accidentally tug on the delicate eye tissue around your eyes, um, it won't cause wrinkles. So eye cream, you don't need to put it right on your lid or close to your lash line. You would actually put it around the orbital bone. So from out here to in here a little bit. And whatever is left over on your finger, you can sweep under your eyebrows. And the reason being that is if you put it too close to your eyes, it'll actually seep in right away and cause you to get irritation in your eyes. Um, this way, if you have put it around the orbital bone, it will help protect your skin to, you know, prevent wrinkles, help with darkness and puffiness, and as you blink throughout the day, or even the next, you know, five minutes, it will travel closer to the skin around the lashes. And the next step um, would be the moisturizer. So moisturizer, um, in the morning, I like to mix my moisturizer with a pump of sunblock. Even though with the mineral makeup, I still like to have that extra sunblock protection. Um, if you want to do it separately, you can do your moisturizer first and then your sunblock second, or you can actually reverse it as well, um, whichever way works. Um, if you're wearing mineral makeup, it doesn't really matter which order for that. And then I just like to cocktail them both together. And make sure everything is spread out evenly. That way it coats your face and protects it from all the environmental elements that attack your face. So that's like the sun, the wind, the pollution, the free radicals floating around everywhere. And um, this gives you super great protection for all that. And you can pat it if you want. The warmth from your hands will actually help the product melt in better as well. And that's your skincare routine. So pretty simple, right? I know. Um, I get this all the time. People find that this, these steps are very complicated and I always have to write them out for them on their skincare prescription chart. You have it here in this video. Um, if you were to skip a step, it would be these two if you're not wearing makeup. So then it eliminates it to just six steps. At nighttime too, you don't need the sunblock. So then you eliminate it even more. So really, two minutes a day, we can all do it. Have fun playing around. See you next time. And please click to subscribe for more videos coming soon.